Alright goblins, I woke to my very quick and basic Shadow Priest PvE guide updated for Legion patch 7.0. In this video I will teach you the perfect method to gear your character and the optimal talent build and rotation which shall maximise your damage in a raiding environment. Let's jump into gearing. So the thing you need to understand about Shadow Priest however, is that they are primarily an AOE DPS spec which means that there are two stat priorities. So anyway, here is the multiple target stat priority, you want to go haste, crit, mastery and versatility, but for single target damage, versatility comes basically before mastery, so it would be beneficial to have a few like strong versatility pieces to swap into on a boss fight, but if, if most of your gear pieces have crit and haste, then you probably don't have to worry about it too much. But anyway, uh, for a special neck enchant, you want to go for mark of a hidden satyr, then on the back you want to go for intellect. Then on a rings, definitely go for haste, and for gemming, gemming, you get your big intellect gem, and then you go for haste gems. For talents, here is a picture of the optimal talent build for single target DPS on a raid boss. However, you may want to swap around some talents to increase AOE damage. Since Shadow Priest, you know it's the only reason why they're really brought to a raid is because of their AOE, the advantages of their AOE damage. And you may also want to swap some other options, you know, for when certain utility talents become more useful to counter certain different boss mechanics. So you should always, always, as a Shadow Priest, be swapping around talents to increase your AoE damage, increase your single target damage, and to counter, obviously, big, you know, maybe maneuverability um, issues or big damage on the raid issues. So Shadow Priest is all about good dot control and trying to maximise your DPS by retaining the void form buff. You basically want to be in the void form buff as for as long as possible and if you make mistakes and fall out of void form then that's when your DPS is going to suffer quite a lot. So your main priority is to get into void form as soon as possible via void eruption before you cast any other spells. Okay, to ma Because when you're in void form you want to maximise um, the damage of every other spell basically and you're only going to be able to do that in void form. So cast Mind, mind Blast as the highest priority while in Void Form, who's going to do the most damage. And then cast Shadow Ward, Pain and Vampiric Touch and maintain them on your target, but try only use them in Void Form to increase the dot damage. And then use Mind Flay as a filler. And it is important to use certain spells in implemented into your rotation um, to basically retain the Void Form buff. I mean, it's gonna, it's not going to be a cyclic. I guess it is a kind of a cyclic rotation, but really it's going to like change now and again because. You know, if you're going to fall off, if Void Form's going to fall off, then you have to change your rotation slightly, even if you're going to use, like, very low damaging abilities to retain it, you know, not as a high priority. You just basically really need to retain the Void Form buff. So, obviously, cast Void Bolt um, to retain it. Get Shadow Fiend when it's falling really low, just as, like, an emergency tactic to get Void Form stacks back up. And then also use Shadow Ward, Shadow Ward Word Death when your target is below 20%. So the main ideology is to stay in Void Form for as long as possible to maximise your damage. Anyway, that is the end of the guide. Remember, these videos are only meant to be a very quick and basic introduction to get you ready for raiding. My name is Domenico Goblin, and until my next video, ciao!